Wales. Welcome to Feeny Composter. We're getting more water here than Evian and Buxton's factory. Don't worry, that's not the rain. I've just got a massive sweat on from that run. I thought it'd be a good opportunity because it's not really composting weather to do a video on ratios that are supposed to be easy for putting into your composting bin. The hot bin requires bulking agent to create airflow within the hot bin and also some form of paper, whether that's cardboard or shredded paper, to counteract the moisture that's in your food waste or garden waste. So when you're adding all these, there are certain ratios that the hot bin company give you that should work with most things. But for me, there are certain situations where you are going to need to adapt these and change it depending what you're putting in your hot bin. Today, I'm going to explain to you what the hot bins say are the ratios and where I think you might need to add a little bit more or a little bit less. So the ratios are supposed to make things quite simple and easy for you you know, when you go to put your bulking agent, your paper or cardboard and your waste all in together to mix it up. So what the hot composting bin company suggests is for every, you know, one, and this applies for whatever container. So even if you use a container like this or you're using, you know, your kitchen caddy, it will apply for in all of these. So no matter what size container it is. So if you're using the caddies, so for one of these caddies that's got you, you know, your garden and waste from the kitchen in, you would use one of those fill up. Then for your your paper or cardboard, you would need to fill that up to halfway. So that would get half filled with paper or cardboard and then for your bulking agent that needs to be just one fifth full so you don't have to measure that with a tape measure it's just a guesstimate so on the hot bin company they suggest two to three handfuls would be sufficient of the paper and the bulking agent where I think that goes a little bit wrong is if we take, for instance, paper. What about the keys? How many keys do I need to put in the hot bin? <laughs> when it comes to cardboard and paper, I've got quite small hands for a guy. But if I put one, two, three, handfuls of you know torn up cardboard we're only barely hitting probably one fifth of that caddy so you know if I tip that tip that back and I get shredded paper and I go with the shredded paper, one, two, three handfuls of shredded paper. That almost feels, you know, that is definitely over halfway. So, as you can see there, there is a little bit of difference between you know certain people's hands and you know if you're just using cardboard or if you're using shredded paper and if that paper's been cross shredded that's going to be even you know finer and smaller so that is just one thing to bear in mind those ratios you know are good for a standard measure but you're going to just have to, you know, experiment for yourself what works for you. Also, you need to, you know, check what wastage you're actually putting in your hot bin. 
this time of year maybe you know you've got loads of plums on a tree that have fallen off and you know they're sitting on the floor and you're going to put those in they're going to be quite wet and so you know if you're doing like if the kids or yourselves are eating watermelon lots of fruit especially in the summertime then that wastage is going to be quite wet so you are going to need to counteract that with a lot more paper and also you know if you're going to put in stuff like you know like this that i've been drying out in the shed because we've just got so much wastage if i was putting quite a bit of that in then i wouldn't put as much paper in because this is you know quite dry so that's one thing to bear in mind with bulking agent you know it says one fifth but i would always go a bit top heavy with the bulking agent especially in the winter time when your hot bin isn't reaching the temperatures like it is in the summertime so just to keep the airflow going then i would put a lot more bulking agent in in the you know winter time rather than you know the summer you could probably get away with you know quite a small amount which is like one fifth so although these are a great guide you know and you know not ever once you get used to your hot bin you're not really going to be measuring it out like this you're going to just sort of guesstimate with your own eyes your smell and what you see you know what you become used to with the hot bin so i'm sure most of you that have been using these hot bins for quite a while don't even measure it out they just tip what they want in and it works fine but if you're new to you know hot bin composting then this is a great guide just to go by first of all until you sort of get used to everything so we're going to be on holiday now for three weeks so hopefully we will be able we've recorded a couple of videos and we'll hopefully post them but just in case we can't um get those posted for some reason don't worry we will be back in you know a few weeks time and the oldest boy is coming from um university he's going to be back here looking after the house and you know because the hot bin doesn't have a touch screen or a keyboard on it he's probably not going to be able to know how to use that so um you know i thought that might be a good opportunity for me to leave the hot bin for you know three weeks and we'll see what it's like how the temperatures dropped when i come back and that would be a great video on if you are able to go on holiday or you know you're leaving your hot bin for a few weeks ha what happens with the temperature and how you can get it back up to temperature and how long that takes unfortunately guys there's going to be no five minute um summary on the bench because it's so wet outside so for anyone who uses that as a nap time you're gonna have to watch a bit of snooker instead because the missus always says that's so boring when i'm watching it so Hopefully this video has helped you out. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time, happy composting and enjoy.